Paolo Di Canio wants a new striker after a Swindon side misfired at Burton. Alan Connell, one of the guilty ones. The Italian says he wants a player who will attack the ball with desire. Burton had two front men on show who definitely aren't lacking in that department. The determination of Justin Richards paved the way for Billy Key to score his first for the club. If Di Canio was upset with his side's lack of finishing, he was equally distressed by what was going on at the back. He accused Matteo Lanzano of killing the game, the keeper taking his eye completely off the ball, and Jack Mahoma made him pay to stretch Burton's unbeaten run to four games. Great to see Burton doing well. They've not been in the Football League that long, it's easy to forget, and their highest position ever in fourth place. And back-to-back -back wins, finally, after 16 months. Absolutely. I mean, it was always going to be difficult for Burton to do an Exeter or Stevenage and go through the divisions, but, you know, it's hard for a team to, like, uh, a person like Paul Pesolita to walk into the shoes of Nigel Clough, who was at Burton for, I don't know how many years, 10 yeah. years, was it? Yeah. And, and, and lay down his own foundation. He's done that. They've struggled at times, but they're starting to come through it. The board believe in him, that's for sure. Mm. And they're starting to get their rewards and, and they're, you know, fourth place. You know, it's, it's a great start for them. Now can they build on it? Swindon's mini-revival came to an end at Burton, who went ahead through Billy Key. Town goalkeeper Mattia Lanzano gifted the home side their second, with Jack Maghoma pouncing on his terrible error to wrap up victory. Richie out wide. He cut inside to create the opportunity the ball falling eventually to Mehdi Karouche. His chance, though, wasted. The visitors continue to have most of the early chances. Again, Ritchie involved. And his left foot cross, providing Alan Connell that his glancing header only just wide. And you wonder what the departed Leon Clark might have done. And Ritchie involved again, winning the ball back for Swindon. Jonathan Smith with a shot. And look out for a fine save from the veteran Kevin Poole. On 21 minutes, Swindon paid for their profligacy. Justin Richards down the left-hand side, his persistence paying dividends. And look out for Billy Key, his chest broad enough for the finish. The Northern Ireland under-21 strikers first for Burton. But the visitors should have levelled before the break. They did well to win the ball back eventually. The ball falling to Connell wide on the left. And his shot across the face of goal, Di Canio and the player himself again frustrated. Swindon's anxiety doubled in the second half and really they only had themselves to blame. Canis's back pass leaving Lozano to clear but the keeper's first touch awful left Richards to win the ball off him and Magoma finished off from the edge of the area. Burton's first back-to-back -back wins for 16 months they're unbeaten in the league in nine at the Pirelli. Swindon back in mid-table though one step back for Di Canio's charges after three steps forward.